That's all in love. That's all in love. You know what it is. Somebody had asked me just in talking, right? And, you know, when you grow up poor, you know, and you don't have. If you make it up out the mud, uh, we like to show it off somehow, right? So that's why we wear jewelry and all this, and just as a status to show you, yo, you know, we ain't bums no more. We ain't fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. um, I don't know if that's the smartest thing to do. I, I don't know if <laughs> saving your money and investing in is a much better thing, right? But, um, and so we do all type, right? And somebody had asked me once again in the airport. In the airport, shout out to the Spanish kid. I'd be in the lounge and he was asking me your OG questions. And I told him, and he said, what is the dumbest you've done with your money? And I would have to say, I don't regret nothing. We done did some amazing things in our lives. We done threw some parties. I remember uh, it was my wife's birthday one day and I bought the whole entire club a bottle of Cristal in Miami. I mean, the whole pit bull performed, a bunch of people. But when I told everybody, I strangers, say it was 500 people, I told them to put their bottles in the air. Everybody threw the bottle of Cristal up in the air. Everybody had a bottle. Just dumb shit, right? But the dumbest shit that I believe I spent my money is uh, um, is on private planes. I believe you say that. <laughs> and so check this out, man. I was afraid to fly. So now, if you would have told me that I was gonna fly, I was gonna fly ever in my life. I would have bet my life savings that I would never fly. Like I just was so scared of flying that I thought I would never, ever, ever. So even when the plane shakes like today and all that, I just say thank you, God, for letting me face my fear. Because some people can't face their fears. So at least I'd be scared to death, but I'd do it. But so what happened to me was uh, the one time I get over the fear of flying, I call a friend of mine, shout out to Tom Cirillo. Uh, and I tell him, yo, you got your plane in Jersey? Because he used to always try to get me. He was like, yeah. So I get in the plane, private plane G4. Fly back from Miami, where I came from. We, did, I, I, we was driving in the tour bus. So I drive back to meet Khaled. And um, it was so smooth that I couldn't believe I flew. This is around lean back time. So I'm making a bunch of money at that time. Lean back, number one, 47 weeks. Ain't but 52 weeks. The money's out of control. So I am flying private. I mean, I'm dead ass. We would be in New York, boy. They'd never be like, yo, we want some, we want some real body guafu. Okay, let's fly to Puerto Rico and go eat Bebo's chicken. Just the dumbest shit. If I had to go to Connecticut for a show, I would fly from Teterboro to Connecticut like eight minutes. This It was the most disrespectful abuse of money ever created. Like, it was just, you know, we had Kentucky Fried Chicken on the plane. We shooting dice. We playing spades. We blasting the system. We ghetto the motherfucking G4 like you can never ghetto it. I'm sure these young kids is ghettoing this shit to death now. But when you talk about... Levels of ghetto, you know, uh, we're not big smokers, so it wasn't like we were smoking on the plane. Maybe Raul pulled off a, a or two on the plane, but uh, y'all, pristine jewelers, Joker lives a life. But somebody asked me the biggest regret was, and, and so this is what I did, right? So I'm on a vacation, I'm going to 10 different islands. Every day. So every day I'm in Santo Domingo, rent the house on the water with the pool. The next day I'm in uh, Bahamas, rented then the Barbados, uh, Anguilla, wherever the f We go on a 10 day vacation, right? And so I'm standing there, Rasha Bilasa, Salam Alaikum. 
So I'm standing there with the pilot of the plane and we sitting in some island having a drink on a fucking big mansion shit. And he says, uh, he says, you know what, man? He said, everybody be fun. You the realest one. I said, what do you mean? Because he used to fly Puffy, Jay-Z, all these other guys. He said, you know, Puff, Jay-Z, they talk that shit, but nobody spends more money than you. Nobody flies more than you. So now, <laughs> I'm sitting there, and I get a fucking, it hit me like a fucking, a pound of bricks that, yo, I'm broken and all this. These guys got way more money than me. I gotta be doing something wrong flying this shit every day. This shit reminds me of this funny story that happened to Timberland. You know, Timberland flew private forever. His little daughter was raised on a private plane. And um, he told me one time, his accountant told him to chill, so he finally went on like a first class American to LA. So when he walks in the plane with his daughter, his daughter taps him and says, hey dad, what are all these people doing on our plane? And Timbo looks at her like, what? She was like, man, there's all these people on our plane. Like, what they doing on our plane, Dad? So you have to explain to her that it was, you know, everybody's plane. And so you, you, when, you, when you on that shit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't me all. What's up, baby? And it's, when you on that type of shit, um, you know, it's hard to give it up. It's almost like a job. You got to be like, yo, I got to go through TSA. I got to see all type of weird motherfuckers because it's, and, 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 and let me tell you something. The bathrooms in the airport, if you're not in a lounge, paying for a lounge is worth just the bathroom. It's the, it's the most disgusting shit. No, no, no. The most disgusting shit. When you walk in a bathroom in the airport, it smell like piss on the walk up. Like from outside, it's like if you could spray, you know how the motherfuckers be spraying to see the 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 light, you know, they're robbing the treasure yeah. or, or or bank and they got the little fucking infrared light, you know, you spray and you spray that, the fucking smell of piss is different. It's fucking pure, right? And so I got I went in there today. Motherfucking shitting in there. Now listen, listen, it's disgusting, but Fox is like supposedly that's legal in the bathroom. You can fight and not feel offended. You shouldn't feel offended if somebody throws a fight in the bathroom, right? So you in the bathroom, men's bathroom, all these fucking strange dudes. I watch them happy you don't wash your fucking hands when you walk out. I be watching these motherfuckers. Boy, motherfuckers be in there uh, uh, acting like they lifting weights or some shit. My shit is like, yo, bro, what the f***? Like, yeah, you can take shit in here, but what the f is your f problem, man? Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, uh, yo, get the f out of here. It's like 30 grown men in this mother. They got kids, and so they think it's legal. The shit nasty, y'all. The shit nasty. Yo, here come Rich. Rich got something to say. You hear the whole floor shaking. Mr. Muscles, what you got to <laughs> say? What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Nah, yo, yo, listen. That's our that's our bathroom condos. That's like that is disrespect. Yeah, man. but still, yo, Rich. Today I went to use the bathroom. I was there with you. My was dead ass going. Nah, uh, nah. Uh. He, was, he was lifting weights on the toilet bowl. Nah, they was going in. <laughs> and it's f disrespect. The other day we had a meeting in the flyers office in the world. Yeah, by, you're by the way, she just hit me. So I, you know, I'm using the bathroom respectfully, and one fight just said pop. But it wasn't pop, it was rap. I threw a fight, <laughs> but I was in the back. The was thin. I, Yo, I, when we both looked at each other, me and the the woman he's talking about, and we we had to laugh it off. <laughs> Yo, so I come out and then he's looking at me disgusted. Like you, you foul, man. You do I'm like, yo, I'm in the bathroom. I, I thought I let one go on the low, cause you know you might want to sometimes throw the water on, you know, the faucet. Throw it off. You throw it to off. throw it off. Little, little, little water on. To throw a little fight. But he was like, he 
with me so bad. We was up in there. I couldn't even concentrate in the meeting because he's like, yo, you disgusting. Nah. <laughs> you think she didn't hear you? The lady stopped he what said she you. was doing and looked at me. I was like, um. No way. Um, I'll, no sorry. way. Sorry. No she way. Did. She laughed it off. I was like, oops, stop. sorry. Pardon my brother. Pardon my brother. Yo, when I, <laughs> he pees in fives at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going home. No, this is the big, big show. <laughs> this is the big, big show.